a fella and I I'm wholeheartedly I'm almost 40 Colin and I know I will never I'll never get that bug for tech like say Gordon yeah. Rochford like he's yeah. that man lives and breathes tech he has one of those fucking tables that yeah like it's the it's a patience thing it's like it's I don't even know if it's a tech thing it's just it's like a nerd thing where you can you have the ability to go this interests me let me figure it out and I do not have that I'm like no. I'm like did it, can I do it first time fuck it in the bin like straight away <laughs> That's why that's why I never like played computer games because it, like Mario Kart was the height of it. If you could get, keep it going forward, that's okay. But then as soon as it was one of these like role play game thing, I'm like, don't make me learn this world. Oh, Fuck that, off. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that fucking breaks my heart. And lads get so into it. I worry though. That's the thing. I worry will there be a bit in my brain that cracks and goes, I fucking love this. I need this because a friend of like well, she's a friend of Natasha's but and her husband. He's a nice fella, American chap. And one of the days he was joking about they bought this beautiful fucking house and he was saying this den was going to be his den and very American phrases like. And he says, uh, you know, you know when you'd be flat out fucking playing whatever fucking computer game, I don't know, with lads online where they're all going, oh my God, he's coming up on your six. And you're like, oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. And, you're, and he goes, and you know, you know yourself when you're just pissing into the bottles and stuff because you're on the fucking, I'm like, hold yeah, on, hold on. Back up. <laughs> Back up the fucking truck there, Tonto. Are you, did you just say you're inside in your own sitting room when the Jacks is there and you're 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 literally like pissing, like aiming his dick into into cartons, like and just leaving bottles of piss around the fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's difficult when you're a grown man because y- you know you would need like the two liter of milk, yeah, a- at least you know, and you know be better praying and stuff the top of your cock into this <laughs> bottle as well. Or else it's going to get that toad throat thing. Where, you know, <laughs> just, just kind of fills up the back of the, the, t- called, the fucking helmet. Just like, this, I'm going to gross you out. That's called piss bombs. That's a, it's an old rugby thing. Yeah, Piss where, bombs. Piss bombs where you, you, you pinch the foreskin and you piss away and you fill up a, a basically a, a, a water, water bomb of piss. And then you run into the dressing room and you go, way. And well, <laughs> the the last the last time I heard the term p- piss bomb was, I don't know if you've seen any coverage online or on the news of what's going on in the north right now, but they're it's a uh, it's topical. It's definitely topical. Yeah, they're throwing they're throwing a couple of petrol bombs. But the one of the first places to like start rioting was, I mean, like a hundred meters away from where I used to live. <laughs> I <laughs> I so was gonna bring it, up. bring it up. Nah, that's that's my people and. uh but I remember when I was younger, like on, on my bike, going past a, like a set of bushes and there was like kids in the bushes, like throwing shit out and they had water bombs and stuff like that. And one of this voice from the bushes just went, you sh- what did he say? Throw one of the pish bombs. <laughs> so like they'd obviously, they'd obviously stocked up on these like water bombs filled with piss, which you know what I mean? It sound more adorable. It's creative. I, I, they sound more adorable when you say pish. I don't know. There's something cuter about that. Like I don't. I can't take it some more. Like there's there's a harshness to piss. But when it's yeah. pish, it's like ah, go on. Yeah, it's like it's like did you fucking piss in my shoe? And and then it's like oh, you pissed in my shoe for fuck's sake. Yeah, yeah, it's cute, isn't it? Yeah. That's it, this is the thing I've been trying to explain to people. I'm back down living in Tipperary, and they're like, oh, "Jesus, a fright! What's going on in Belfast?" And I'm like, "No, what you don't understand about Belfast, and from the little understanding of friends that I have from Belfast and being in Belfast a lot." And I gave an example of going over to meet you for a coffee one time. We went for a burger or something one time before Lavery's, and I literally was driving past a road, the top of a road, and there was two young fellas jumping up and down on the bonnet of one of those cool Land Rover Defenders, the fucking, the police ones. And rounded the next corner and there was people out having paninis, not 75 yards away. Oh, yeah. And I went, oh, well, that's that, so. That's just, the fucking zoo is there and everybody else just cohabitates knowing that the zoo is happening over that side. And relax, it's grand. Oh, yeah. it's um, I mean, it's like, you can you can be eating like a halloumi and quinoa wrap <laughs> and then like walk around the corner and they're burning like effigies of Sinn Féin members on a fucking bonfire <laughs> and you're sit- you're eating the thing on what's that smell? Pallets? What is that? It's quite impressive actually. I passed a stack of pa- I drove past a pack of stallets a fucking stack of a past of stallets a pack of sta- pallets the other day and it was like <laughs> 
<laughs> I can't fucking speak. I'm so not used to fucking people. I can't speak anymore. <laughs> Just grunting at my child. But yeah, uh, and it was it, there. It was outside a coal yard, and they've been there years. And I was kind of going, and they're infused with coal. They would be amazing, burn. And they're there sitting there. I'm going, man, what a couple of lads around the twelve wouldn't give for them. They are primo. They'd be worth driving down with a truck to get. Pre-soaked. I mean, people. I, I don't think these boys know the value of pallets when they're burning them. No, did <laughs> you're talking to the pallet brother here? I fucking, I'm gone mad on pallets. <laughs> Fierce man for the pallets, but I just I know like I, I know people used to like collect them and sort them, and then you could sell the fucking batch of pallets. What well, that, that is a thing. That is a thing. I'm just gonna put my fucking phone keeps on buzzing here. You'd swear I was popular, and all of a sudden I start chatting with you, and it's like let's uh, let's just keep fucking texting him. Um, that was the thing. I I've done that. I've I've sorted fucking pallets before, like and actually sold sold them back to people. I think I was getting them for like a five or a pallet or something. Oh yeah. Those blue, like, Euro pallets are probably fucking a tenner each. I, I don't know. Now you're talking, yeah, now you're fucking talking. The blue ones. The, how have you, how have you been? I think, have we started, yeah, we started recording, yeah. How how have you been? You look fucking healthy, man. I look healthy? Yeah, you actually do, I swear to God. I don't know, it must be the pixelation. Um, well, I'm sure I'm like yourself, you fucking, you don't know your arse from your elbow with a young baby. You're just like, at the start, you're, you know, you're all like, this is terrible and I can't handle this. And then, like any thing, you get accustomed to it. And yeah. then, you know, maybe one night you get like, like an hour extra sleep and you wake up and you're like, am I, you know, like, am I? <laughs> you know, you're like, I can actually see as soon as I wake up and my, you know, I'm like, my back isn't killing me. So, yeah, I'm, I'm fucking all right, man. I'm just, um. Somehow I've managed to be busier during lockdown than every fucker. So like, yeah, when everyone's watching box sets and asking for recommendations for Netflix, I'm fucking, you know, still sitting here fucking one in the morning trying to pump out podcasts and all that sort of shit. So, but yeah, it's it's fucking all good, you know. What about yourself? The hair's looking I know, it's sexy, man. It's ridiculous, it's ridiculous, isn't it? It's, it's, it's but there's a, there's something in me I can't get rid of it now. I like I I have moments like every couple of hours ago. This fucking thing is touching off my neck, and I've never had I've never had that. Like I've never. Yeah. But then all of a sudden I catch a look at myself and I go, ah, oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Even when you're playing with it there like this, and then you cover it up for a second, then it goes away. I'm like, ah, oh, it's boring now. You know. <laughs> I'm wondering, this will be the interesting fucking test because I was never, I was never and wanted to be one of those comedians, you know, who, hey, I'm all zany, you know, like you come out on stage and you've got a shtick already before people see you. Like, look yeah. at my spinning bow tie. I never, I never, no, I, no, the material should stand for itself. And then I'm kind of going, yeah, but I fucking really like this mullet. And if the mullet does add to the ridiculousness of, and who am I to fucking get serious when, this yeah. is what we do for a living. Do you know? Yeah, I mean, like, yeah, like I, I would often wear like like a Hawaiian shirt type thing. Number one, to sort of take the edge off the like Eastern European drug dealer look. <laughs> but um, <laughs> and, and I want to give you a name that is, isn't a typical name either. Not like Pietro. Um, like Schlimme. Sh- have you yeah. ever seen that name spelt? It spells Prems. It's Premslaw is how it's spelt. But all any hard cunt I ever met was always called Shlimmy. Yeah. yeah. So I think yeah. Or I think Bogdan. Sh- Bogdan. Bogdan. Is a big one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Bogdan. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's a that's big one. That's transferable also to the fucking countryside and. Yeah, <laughs> he's a fucking Bogdan. Uh, but yeah, but you. What I'm saying is, you feel silly when you have it on. It you is. Know, a you put it on. You, you feel silly. You, feel, you know, like. Any sort of family event we have around here where it's like someone's birthday or whatever, you're like, get the Hawaiian shirt on, let's fucking get the shorts on. We're 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 loose, you know what I mean? I fucking get, get loose. It. Yeah, like I wore I wore a shirt. Uh, it's funny you say Eastern Europeans. I wore I did that that gig I was telling you about in Galway a couple of weeks ago, the virtual fucking one, and uh, I you know I I said it to Natasha. I said, you know what? I just want an asshole shirt to go with my asshole haircut, and she went, leave it to me. And this thing arrived in the post. Hold on. It's actually... One second. Oh, it's in the back of the bar, is it? It's in the back of the bar. I'll just uh, pass it out. Wait, you see this. It's in the keg store. For, it's horrendous, right? 
Now, wow. for the audio listeners, look look at that. I mean, I look definitely like I'm, you know, a, an African prince of sorts. Like, so right? that's a sh- I mean, it looks like just a silk sort yeah. of like bonnet thing that a, a rich old lady and like... Yeah, Mo- Monaco yeah, yeah. would wear. You know what I mean? Like I have to go from my convertible to the building. I know, and that's I, I, I. So she got, and I went. I can't wear that. That's dreadful. She went. Just put it on. Stop being a pussy. So she was right, right. Now, so I show up, and I'm thinking, I put it on. You know, the hair, and already, two, the two uh, Polish lads who were the techs that day were like, I fucking love your hair." And I was like, oh, thank you very much. She was like thinking they were joking. He was like, no, no, it's fucking badass. It is pro- bad ass. I'm like, I do- it, does that mean the same thing in your country? Yeah. <laughs> but the next thing I put that shirt on, right? And I was about to walk out and you man went, whoa, 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 my friend. Where, where you buy shirt? I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But he started showing me, he goes, I just ordered this right now. And when I looked at what he was wearing, on his, and he, he showed me a, tra- a tracksuit we just ordered, and I swear to God, my child has the similar tracksuit. Like yeah. there, was, there was pictures of tracksuit tractors all over, it and I went, "Oh yeah, what? You're but you're like he was, Colin. He was your size, like. Do you know what I mean? Going, <laughs> the guy's like, "Have you heard my my favorite rapper, Hey Dougie? It is uh, <laughs> it's a pretty badass. And Rolly, he's a bad, he's a mad bastard." There's a Let fine line, but there's still, like, there is cool, like, there's cool tops and stuff that he's after, the young fellas after getting, that I would wear. I would oh, wear. Yeah. Some of it oh, I'm kind yeah. of going, that's, that's, that's kind of cool, actually. Like, you know, I wear it ironically. Yes, it's got lollipops all over it. But then yeah, also yeah. I can see Aaron McCann totally going, oh my God, I'd pay 200 quid for that. Oh yeah, Eddie has one that, it's like a little, it's kind of like a onesie, but uh, with a hood on it, and it's completely camouflage, and I'm like, I would wear it. You know, if that was like double XL, I'd be all over that. You already had me at that. It was like, oh, well, well, go on. Please yeah. <laughs> tell, me, <laughs> tell me more. Yeah. No, it's fucking sweet. Some of the kids' gears are made. Some of the, some of the shoes I've got, Eddie, like we pairs of Vans and stuff. I he, wear one on each toe. Yeah, yeah. Fionn Fion started, started, started to wear, to wear these, these, their, 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 their uh, high tops, their Adidas high tops, high tops, but they're, they're Toy Story themed. Mm. I'm like, like I, would I would absolutely wear, if they make those in a size 10, I would absolutely fucking wear those. Oh, yeah. Badass. Across the board, like I've I've developed this strange interest in little boys now because you know because <laughs> <I know. Yeah. laughs> before like kids kids didn't even r- <laughs> got a phone call coming through my fucking computer. Um, they wouldn't even kids wouldn't even register on my you know like people. Someone's like I've had baby. Do you want to see the photo? I'd be like no, fuck off. You know like I just didn't give a shit. Yeah. Yeah, had no interest in children at all. Wasn't didn't grow up around many other babies or anything. But now you know, like say we boy on a bike, and I'm like, isn't that? Look at that. He yeah. probably could even. Yeah, he probably yeah, could yeah, even yeah. do that like a week ago. That's class, isn't it? Um, and you start to notice things, and then you're like, you see like a kid on a bike, and you're like, I would have fucking beat another child to death to get a bike with suspension on it. Are you joking me? <laughs> yeah. You know, it's insane. Sorry about that. That's all right. Just fucking, I, you gotta love, you gotta love those, uh, you know, you ring up like some insurance place and it goes through to somewhere in England and it's like super professional and then you ring through somewhere in Tyrone and the woman's like, sorry, I had to go, the doctor's appointment there. Uh, where, what was it? He was a check in Axe Insurance? Oh. <laughs> I, oh. you know, you know what, and especially since it's and gone, especially to since gone to people's homes, it's homes, like you're actually really like talking to, really talking to because I, I cancelled my insurance. Oh. I've been with them six fucking years, moved here, and they wanted 80 quid extra a year. And I just went, ah, oh, nah, there is zero crime here. What the fuck are you talking about? A car hasn't passed in 15 minutes out in that road. And I said this, and we're like, oh, well, you know, it's it's all this harsh shit. And it's, it, they're just looking for any opportunity to jack it up for any reason. And so I cancelled, found another crowd. Turns out they knocked about 150 quid off it. But it was just the principle of this shit. Yeah. And... I had to ring, I had to ring to cancel and you get a, you got this bloke at home living in Ballymun. It was fucking hilarious. Like, he was like, oh, fucking how's it going? Uh, I'm cancelling. Yeah, go away. Go on, tell us. And I said, <laughs> I said, listen, man, they, they want, uh, they want, he wanted the scandal like of why I was cancelling. Yeah. Yes, they, they want fucking 80 quid. Bastards. I s- <laughs> Is he? Is he your employer? He goes, I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. 
we can tell you now, it's a disgrace what they're charging me for over here. And I went, oh, yeah. And he said, I was sometimes, you know what I mean, when you do move to the country and all, like, you know what I mean, and like fucking, you know, fucking claims go up and I said, listen, I've worked for insurance companies. It's a complete pile of horse shit. It's any opportunity. He goes, yeah, you're fucking dead, Roy. Right? What? And I'm like, <laughs> oh, we cancel that for you now, will I? I was like, am I on to a fucking drug dealer? So it was, the, it was bizarre how when you're in somebody's home now, it seems to be like, it's not, you can, I could hear his dog barking. He was telling me he was going out to feed his pigeons straight away after that. He was loving life at home, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, sure, Maureen's, Maureen's sister, her fiancé, is a mortgage advisor and he works, well, I'll, well, I'll not tell you who he works for, but uh, he was running us through a bit of mortgage stuff before and, uh, yeah, he'd moved everything home and he was in this bedroom and he's in his fucking sweats with his socks on and like a mountain of like coffee cups and fucking protein bars. And uh, I was like, fuck, if I, if I did had this job, there's nothing would stop me just napping every fucking two minutes. And he goes, oh, I lad every time, every, every time I finish an application, I'm asleep. <laughs> I was like, fair play. <laughs> So Woodsy, I was talking with Woodsy, he's been working from home since the get-go and we we were up, we did the Hatfield House, I think, during oh, yeah. like last, the end of last summer and he was going, mate, listen, I get done with my shit about half night in the morning yeah, and I go back to bed. I'm like, what? Because it is glorious. It's fucking glorious. I make it work for me, I go back to bed and they don't want, once I get my shit done, they don't give a fuck what I do myself. He does his... Pornhub cam show and he fucking squirts all over the computer and then he fucking squeegees it off and he's back in bed by half nine fair play fuck you speak about that like I mean did you I know you you kind of looked at me concerned there when I put what uh, what Tom did you see your man from Bray that was making is making 50 to 60 grand a month on OnlyFans I mean, yeah. what sort of what sort of niche does he fall into? Is he like, is he gay or is he it straight himself, stuff? I don't, I don't know. Apparently, like he's he's straight, like he is, but I, he's he's in good nick. In fairness, to him. oh he's, oh, wait a minute, the fucking the ginger dude with the beard. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Fuck. yeah. I've seen that guy on TikTok now. Should I be on TikTok? No, but no, no. I have seen he's a fucking insufferable like he's in good neck and fair play to him uh, and I'm sure a load of girls want to fucking just ride his head but you can't fucking walk out of your house this is his face in the morning like <laughs> and he wa- and you know it's like obviously he's wearing a pair of jeans with his top off and then he's holding like a fucking one of them chicken fillet rolls that fucking people think only exist in the Republic of Ireland and he walks out like you know don't we all love a fucking chicken fillet roll? And you're like, bro, put your dick away. You know what I mean? I can see the top of your dick. <laughs> it's fucking grim. But I mean, you, if I could get away with it, I probably would. I'd be doing it myself. You yeah, know I mean? yeah. But even the... the I, and I think that's... It's a perfect sign that, that things have gone too far, lockdown-wise. If a fella who has about as much fucking charm and savvy, he's literally a walking photograph. Because that, that eye thing he does that you were you just did, where he's kind of like he's... He's got, he's got a fucking an allergy or something. Where he's, yeah. That's what blokes like wanky blokes do in a photograph. But when it turns to live action, mate, walk like you're fucking walking, you dipshit. Like, but yeah, like you know that wouldn't it, if that was in if there was no such thing as a pandemic, that fucker wouldn't make five quid a month. He wouldn't make five because there's nobody would pay. And then he speaks like with a bray accent. Can you imagine that? Like, I haven't heard him speak. Thank Christ. It's it's. Can you imagine? Um, if you imagine. Katie Taylor in a a male Katie Taylor. That's what it is. <laughs> it Devin is. Taylor. They don't know. They don't know what they are. Are they Wicklow? Are they Dublin? They don't know what. So they're caught between two stools. Like, and there's, I'm sure there's loads of lovely people in Bray, but that accent is just like man, <laughs> and it's just it's like they're always a child on the verge of crying. You know. Yeah. <laughs> Why did you fucking do, did you? And I'd like to thank the Lord God for making me knock the bollocks out of that young one over there. <laughs> <laughs> Katie Taylor just sounds like she feels awful for doing what she just did every time. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> fucking murking people left, right, yes. center, going, and you know it's down to God and all. That. And she, like <laughs> they're born again Christians, I think. I think she's a born again Christian or something. And yeah. you know, Katie, you could work in a center saving dogs, not like yeah. you, know, you know, absolutely pulverizing young ones, like but. 
There you go. And she's the fucking, you know, she's got the sportswomanship and the, you know, the decorum. And then McGregor's walking around, fuck you, and slamming at everybody. You know, and then he gets his fuck kicked in and then gets on a yacht and everyone's still like, man, this guy's the fucking king, bro. He can do nothing wrong. He can no. do nothing wrong. The fucker is Teflon. Like that, just got the bollocks handed to him. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean, Vogan? You caught me in the lake. He was like, mm. oh, no. He, no, he definitely beat the fucking shit out of you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the leg kick was one thing that happened, yes. Uh, but the fucking many, many digs to the face were also... Uh, added up like Jesus Christ Katie Taylor's just quietly taking over the world you know there's another one I'm putting an extension on the house to keep these belts in but sure fuck it yeah it's uh, it's it's I don't know at what point that she's gonna snap because I think she's too nice going forward like do you know like is is there would be any point that you could push Katie to a point where she go well you know oh, well listen to me you fucking tramp You'll fucking do nothing a crossover. Like, I, don't, I think that's the only thing holding her back. Like, if she could had the aggressive nature, a sound, yeah. sound as McGregor. Because that's the only thing that caught half these Americans from the day one. Your man turned yeah. up in a suit and was too quick for him. He was quick like a fucking comedy roast. And yeah. all these, these lads were just sports fellas before that. They were just coming up with things like, oh, you know, it was a good fight and yeah. tried my best and just didn't get there in the end and... They're, that's all they were doing. And then this cunt shows up and it's fucking, he's like Don fucking Riddles, like just goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But, and like half of it, you know, there, there there were the sort of epic quotes, but a lot of it was like, you know, it was like a heckle put down where it was like, not particularly clever, but very clear and very quick. Yeah. 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 yeah you yeah. know, so like when he goes like, who, you know, who the fuck is that guy? That's not that smart, but it worked because it was like, it was like that. You know? Oh, it's perfect. It was absolutely yeah. perfect. And it was the time he took. He does have comedic timing. I'll give him, he does have very good comedic timing because in that, like where he's looking over his shoulder, like who's this peasant behind me? It's yes. the three, two, three second moment to let it breathe. Because if you just went, who the fuck is that? It wouldn't, it, it wouldn't have landed as well. He does have, in fairness to the cunt, he is, you know, his comedic timing and all. But like, he sells his notion of the mean streets of Crum- Like he grew up in a lovely part and like he went to a private Gale school. Like he's, you know, an Irish-speaking school. They're hard to get into. Do you know, so he sells this notion to mean streets of... <laughs> I know, but I, I never I never understood that, like, you know, the particular place that you come from makes you hard. Yeah. Have you ever seen Will Flory? Yeah. Yeah, Will is not from a not from a rough place. Will is from up the road here. Like, his family were antique stealers. You know what I mean? Well, exactly. He's, but you get, you know... Even in sport or even in like rugby or something, you get some guy who's like just live is just a fucking farmer. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. he's hard as nails. You, you know, it does, you know, he's not like he's just he just has a mental toughness that makes you hard. You don't have to like witness a couple of stabbings to make you fucking <laughs> a hard guy. Like it always seems to be in the fight game. They always seem to be. It always seems I don't know. It was just easy to throw up a boxing gym or something in some rough fucking area rather than going. Here's a ball. Let's just go out in that fucking field and run around. Yeah, let's, let's see how hard you are. Go smash that big bastard over there and see how you know. Yeah. Did, you're gonna try and tell somebody like Stephen Ferris, like I, I don't know, Stephen. Did you did you have a rough upbringing? Did you? Are you sure you're hard? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Fuck, Tig Furlong. You would. Yeah. Exactly. I, yeah. I had to fucking laugh. You text me <laughs> during that game, like the cunt sidestepping people and everything. And when, when I told you it was 19 stone, you were like, uh, what? <laughs> he, does, <laughs> he does look the width of a fucking house though, doesn't he? Yeah, because that was a fucking embarrassing moment where, was it the France game or something and someone scored and then you were like, I, he, you know, he, he was made to look even better because he, he ran around a prop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, you yeah, said, yeah. you know, or you said like an 18 stone prop and I was like, if he's only 18 stone, I'll fucking eat my own ass. And, and then I looked it up and I was, he's like, yeah, like 18 and a half stone or something. I was like, well, I'm heavier than that guy. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Fuck's sake. You, go, you could have gone pro. Kid, you could have gone pro. If you stuck with it, kid, you could have gone pro. You probably could have actually given, given like your frame and everything. You probably, you know, pro du two and maybe in France or something like that. Mm. Where basically you could, if you've murdered somebody, you can go play in France. They don't care. Oh, yeah. It's and, and it seems like the nicer place to play. You know, it's like where they send all the outcasts to fucking, you know, drink cocktails and sit on the beach. Well, that's where they send, you know, like like when I think Bill Burr did a bit about it. He was saying that, um, you know, the TV personalities that come out with racist shit, there should be a channel for them 
because if they're big enough, they'll all make it back. They just go to bull boy school for six months. They come out with something fucked up or racist. There should be a channel for them because we all know they're coming back. Just put Dog the Bounty Hunter, put fucking you know, yeah. Paula Jean, put them all over there on that other channel. And that's essentially what the second division in France is. You'll make yeah. a few quid, but you can literally have shot somebody in the face and they'll give, <laughs> they'll give you a gig. <laughs> Fucking right. They offered, uh, they were asking Ron O'Gara the other day, they were going, would you not come back, you know, and coach in Ireland? And he was like, well, you know, like, I don't know if it's for me. Like, just, I don't know if it's my place to come back yet. And meanwhile, his child, they ha- they, he's living on his own island in the south of France. His child cycle pass, cycles past on their own private beach behind him. He was like, huh? Yeah. No, I don't know if it's my time to come back just yet. Like, you're going, you want to come back and live in Limerick. Like, <laughs> what, what would it take to put a smile on O'Gara's face? Yeah, I. <laughs> the guy is a fucking like, he's talking, and I'm like, <sniffs> all out halves are like that. All out halves are like that. They're the most serious, dry bastards. The weight of the world is on their shoulders. All of them. Any Johnny Wilkinson, you should listen to some of the monologues he comes out with lately. He's gone really weird. It's brilliant. He's fucking gone really yeah, super weird. Johnny Wilkinson just, yeah, he's just miserable. Like, yeah. just miserable yeah. face on him. Didn't have a girlfriend, wasn't allowed a girlfriend until he was about 19 or 20. Yeah. He's how old man managed him, like, all the way through. He's like, nah, not getting a bird. Not seeing... I mean, how healthy, how unhealthy is that? It's fucking weird. And the guy's like, he was so overmarked and he was such a dangerous player that he got smashed to pieces and his body is just like fucking, like a toolbox, you know what I mean? Just fucking brackets and spanners and fucking shit all through his body, like nuts and bolts. Oh, can you imagine? Imagine fucking trying to get oh fuck all that like at that level where people are just but then I suppose he's warped in the fucking head he was probably loving every bit of that like so he is a fucking savage in fairness to him Johnny Wilkinson as we're recording there now I just just popped into my head Prince Philip finally gone finally finally popped off everyone's a fucking comedian again you know yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's I fucking I I, I I hate see like. It, it it makes things so si- like silly when someone just dies because then you're like, oh yeah, you know, the show goes on. <laughs> He's just a fucking old cunt. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> whatever. I can't even be arsed beginning to try and write a fucking bit of material about no, it. No, like, because it's done and dusted. It's done and yeah. dusted. It's, it's, but fuck me. Young in, I, I was hoping he'd fucking hang on to the hunters because there there's something warped about him. That he, like, the rest of them are all trying to keep it clean and keep it all the rest of it. And just every so often you're kind of going, yeah, but he's fucked in the head. Like, you know what I mean? He could come yeah. out with anything. That's the that's the one you want to see. Like, the, you know, the warped brother, like, or something. That's the one you want to see. Get the mic in front of that fella and see what he has to say. <laughs> Black people. <laughs> no, <man. laughs> Let's go to fucking Kenya and see some droopy tits. <laughs> I just I just love that he you know like imagine being his sort of PA or whatever and he's just like I'd like to go hunting and then he's like jump in the jump in the car and you have to sit in the passenger seat of a fucking Land Rover while this cunt just <laughs> boom boom just going over fucking everything oh I killed a goose <laughs> in the fucking ditches and back out and everything yeah you can't you, you pull up and you're just up. fucking just white as a sheet like here we are <laughs> I remember meeting a guy before. He was, he was, uh, it was when I was building golf. It was actually up in Loch Earn in, um, we were doing the golf course in Loch Earn in Enniskillen. And he had, up until he was, up until was something like 24, 25, he had never, he'd been driving every day, but he'd never once have to drive off their own property. He was from Scotland, but he had a very English accent. But they used to get their, they'd something like, I don't know, was it something like 42,000 acres? It was, Ridiculous! They used to get their their grub choppered in from Harrods. Yeah, their chef, their chef used to get stuff choppered in from Harrods. But he, in fairness to him, he was kind of going, "I fucking know." He'd left it all behind him to a degree, like you know. Well, you know, he'd left it and gone and actually got a real job. But they, when you tell me something like this, you're like, "We have no concept of the wealth, of proper wealth." Sure, we don't. Like, oh yeah, it's insane. Like, like well, you just you, you don't even like. The fact that you would even check the price of something, yeah, yeah. Before, yeah. unless unless it's like a private jet or something, you're just like, oh, just get another one, and you know, you don't have to cal- you don't have to calculate anything. You just like point at stuff and be like, make my thoughts come alive, and then, <laughs> yeah. and then a fucking like building appears. You know what I mean? 
that's Dubai, basically, is what you're saying. Oh, yeah, Dubai. yeah. yeah. Dubai. Just the, okay. Yeah, those guys. I want to have this watch, but also with lasers and the uh, rubies. <laughs> and then they fucking destroy like a 50 grand watch, putting diamonds in it. Thank you. And then he gives it to a child who throws it in the fucking swimming pool. It's that's, insane. That's, insane that's, the level. that's the level you're talking about. Because I knew a guy years ago. He's, a, he's, he's an actor. And he's, uh, but between gigs, when he was an actor kind of slash dancer, and he'd work in Harrods. He used to get an old a handy you know he'd get a few days working hards because he knew the, a bloke selling perfume in there and your man like he turned it on you know he'd be like you know he's very camp and uh <laughs> i love those connections you just made that you knew a guy fucking sold perfume didn't say nothing <laughs> he's a dancer slash actor knew a guy sold perfume fucking say no more you know what i mean you know yourself <laughs> you know yourself keep say nothing and keep saying it but he uh he he's he's like I was, what was it like, you know, working at fucking Harrods? Was this, you know, was it, was it really fucking it? I go, oh, the level, the level. It's not not so much off English people too much. You know, they were very, you know, ridiculous, almost ridiculous. But it's, it was the Arabs and the Russians that'd be in. And you're just looking, they're just buying for the sake of buying. And it's not even buying. It's not even like, oh, pick up this thing. Oh, look, it's, that's, it's got this. It was just like, they would have like two PAs, three PAs with them, like an entourage. And your man would be wearing like, you know, top top end Adidas gear if he was Russian. Big gold chain. And he's walking through. He's just flicking stuff, <laughs> flicking stuff into a basket. And it's just like 10. Let's get 10 of everything. And there's no, they don't want to smell it. They don't give a fuck. It's just, I buy, I buy many things because, you know, yeah. I am this rich. And there's I, this... I honestly think I, I would, you know, I would go like the fucking Bill Gates thing where like, you, you you know that it's like a trap and you would just get caught in it. So you would just go back the way and be like, yeah, I've got like a Casio watch and I just wear <laughs> black t-shirts all day because I'm just like, there, I can do this all day, every day with anything. So fuck that. I'll just do, I'll focus my energy somewhere else. I never actually asked you because the last time you were, you went to, you went to Powers Court, didn't you? You were up the road yeah. from where we used to live. Speaking of, oh, like that, that's, there's a level of ridiculousness in Powers Court, like, isn't there? What yeah, was, with, me, was... with me walking around being like, does anybody want any gear? <laughs> well, no, you just look like a rich Russian now. Oh, yeah, for sure. But the, the, we went in for lunch as soon as we got there because the room wasn't ready. For fuck's sake. And uh, <laughs> we walked past this table and this guy, and it was like a fucking sketch. The guy goes, I can put you in touch with a uh, a gardener who's 86 euro an hour. <laughs> And that was, like, the guy, like, you don't, these you don't were hear... Other, what, these were punters or there was staff? Yeah, two guys, no, two guys having, like, lunch. But you don't hear, you, you know, only in certain circles do you hear, how much does your gardener charge? Yeah, You know, yeah. that sort of a, And also 86 euro an hour, it's very fucking specific. But, um... 86 euro an hour, like, insane. Yeah, I'm trying to work it out. Was he working it out from sterling or through dollars? I, I mean, that's a bizarre number to fucking land on. How much I are you? Know. 86, well, you know, well, let's factor it in. It's going to be 86, 860 euros for today's job. Do you know how wealthy that area it must be? Also, this is another thing. Uh, I went down, we went back down for dinner, you know, because you're, you're in this thing for like less than 24 hours. You're like, I'm taking everything, you know, so we're oh, like yeah. fucking lunch, oh, yeah. dinner, champagne, asshole. So, I went down to the thing and uh, the woman was like, and what's what's your room number? Whatever. And I give the number. And she goes, okay, Mr. Jedis. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jedis. Say- <laughs> let me take you to the table. Mr. Jedis. Like, just because they were probably going, a name like that, you know, it's probably French, is it? Jedis. I love, I love the fact that they looked at you and went, yeah, French. Like Maureen, you give it. Yeah, you give it. You know, you go, yeah, could be, could be. But then looks at you and went, Fr- okay, fuck it. He's French. Yeah. You know, where the 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 value, like the, their, the fact that they, like if that was any other hotel, they'd look up and they'd go, fucking, fucking Jedis, Jedis, you know. But because the potential for you to be extremely wealthy and not to put you out, they just went, let's chance this one. Let's sell go through the, the rack in the brain let's chance jeddies <laughs> but I'll tell you I'll tell you what else like we were probably the youngest in this fucking place by oh, yeah. 20 years and the any other young people that were there were like total insufferable wee dicks you know what I mean anyone that was like t- you know t- between like 21 and 30 was just you know like 
Gucci slippers and fucking Louis yeah. Vuitton, uh, what do you call it, luggage and shit like that. Yeah, just yeah. walk. There was a dude fan on his face, and I was like, "Don't ever fan your face." Yeah, you fucking sweat down your face like a real man. What kind, I was just gonna say, sweat. what kind of a fucking man? Yeah, fucking, what kind of a man are you? You fucking wipe it on your t-shirt and you fucking crack on. <laughs> but I'll tell you again, this is another thing that drove me nuts. We 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 drove out and we're like, let's drive around the area. You know what I mean? Soak it up, see what the crack is. There was a there was an old uh, this house that looked kind of like abandoned, and in the driveway the driveway was all kind of grown over grass poking in all, and there was like an s like an old sl 500 mercedes white but just covered in moss fucking grass growing out oh, of it and everything. i think i know i think i've seen that and i was just like uh yeah. you know like yeah. what fucking divorce or whatever happened here and someone just went i'm not fucking dealing with it and i'm not and they just split or whatever and this house is just like lying there with the fucking and i, I like an old mercedes as you know and i was just like ah oh, for fuck's sake like yeah yeah, Can I yeah, tow yeah. that home or what? What's going on? Colin, one of our neighbours was Vince McMahon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Billy, the Billy walking. Like, at, at the time? Like, he, he still owned... Yeah, yeah, well, he had a property. Yeah, he had a property just up the road from us. Like, fucking... I, I told you, like, Chris DeBerg was... I had to say that we had no business. Whatever, well, Natasha fitted... Um, to say that this... Scope had no like I knew I was fucking done and I think I don't know what to tell you about this but I knew I was done the day a fella buzzed the fucking buzzer at the gate and when I took picked up the, the receiver inside I was like I think it was a parcel being delivered or something and it was the n- bloke up the road I no he's next door pretty much and he, he described himself on the phone like you'd go yeah, yeah, yeah Colin here from next door this guy didn't he described himself by his fucking house name he went, Badger Hall here. Uh, Badger, uh, he caught, yeah. Went, Badger Hall? Badger, Badger Hall. I went, hello, Badger Hall. Uh, <laughs> I'm Tom. <laughs> and everybody has an English accent around there. There's no two ways about it. It's a softened. You could say, well, it's not English. It's mid, you know, mid Irish sea kind of a thing. But it's all. Anyway, what I'm, I'm just buzzing in to tell you that. I t- he just assumed because. I'm a bit of a fucking scumbag that I owned a tent that blew into his blew into his garden, <laughs> he, and I fuck, I, man, I don't own a tent. He goes, well, it's blown from your property. I slat. There's a twelve acre field alongside. It could be from fucking anywhere. We're right, you know. But he just there was no question. It was mine. Bloody a tent. <laughs> Tom, it's Walter here from the Swan's Tent. Uh, I was just wondering, <laughs> maybe one of your shitty dogs has uh, got loose on my property. I've cocked a shotgun anyway, see what happens. <laughs> the badger's hole. Definitely, what, what does a badger live in? A set or something? What does it live in? Yeah, 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 a set. Call it that. Badger's hole. Badger's hole. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's, I mean, but, there was, and there was no shame, like, there's no, there's no shame, like, a, phenomenal fucking people around there. So we, I knew, I said, we can't fucking raise the uncle around it. Not, like... Fucking Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I mean, we were there a couple of years and you wouldn't get to know anybody because they're all just... Uh, 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 I can remember, I, I pulled up outside your house and, you know, I had to fucking ring you because the, oh, yeah. the, the yeah, gate yeah. needs open. And somebody just came, like, fucking right up my asshole in a Range Rover. And they were just like, you know, like... And I was like, well, I'm just waiting to be let in here. And she was yeah. furious. She, could, she couldn't fuck it. She was like, why is there a car here on this road? Yeah. Get the fuck out of my way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we shared it with, yeah, yeah. She was. She actually rang me the other day, the same woman. See how I was getting on. Now, this is how she speaks. Everything is lovely. lovely. But yeah, again, the, like the lack of patience. Why would you be in front of her? That's what the area is very much like. And like, it's, it's fucking bizarre. We're, we're in where we've moved to. I've totally forgot how country people think. They don't move at that pace, nor is there that level of stress. Like, yeah. if I drove up the road now, I guarantee you some bloke is leaning on a bonnet talking to another bloke going, oh, like, no, I, I got, to, I, I came down, I remember day, day two we were here and I rang, I wanted to get a fill of oil in the tank and I had my Dublin brain on, so I had my card out, credit card out to pay for said oil, give him directions, the whole lot had the fucking, the, you know, the postcode and I, <laughs> I rang the guy up, I rang, rang this company and the guy, instead of answering so uh, hello, get us oil. He, he answered the phone and went, well, what, what? <laughs> like, I'm, like I'm his brother and I just rang him. 
And a guy through, oh, I, I, I said, listen, I want to order some oil. He said, yeah, where are you? So I, I gave him the, all, the full address. And he, I said, do you want the air code? And he was like, I should have gone so. And it, you, I knew he was writing all this down. And then at the end of all that, he went, now, tell me where you really are. <laughs> 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 but the fact is, like, your man... He couldn't give me a time nor date that when the oil would arrive, and I was in a Dublin mode in my head. But he completely had deactivated me, and com- you know he, yeah, he completely disarmed me because he was just such a charming owl fella who was like, "Era," and then as as by total fluke, I was thinking, "Fuck me, we won't get oil now for another fucking week." Not, I swear to God, not twenty minutes later, I'm boiling a kettle and a big. Like this fucking monster of a man, like we're talking six ten, looks around the kitchen window. <laughs> he just knocks and he goes, "Dial is in there now, Gluck," and just fucked off. Didn't? Yeah, yeah. I loved it. It was, there that, was no... that's what happens around here. You got they they just put the oil in and then you ring the office and pay. That's, that's what happens. That's, that's yeah. what I had to do. That's because yeah. your man wouldn't give me. I wouldn't. He wouldn't take the card until I got the oil. Like I yeah. had to ring him back then and then give him the oil. We uh. You know, up here we live very close to like the in-laws, Maureen's in-laws, or Maureen's it's parents, my like in-laws. fucking the Kennedys. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a weird ranch, but uh, I'm convinced the guy tried to, you know, deliver home heat and oil one time and couldn't get in. And I think he just put it in the other house. <laughs> Fuck it. Because <laughs> yeah. we got a bill and he's like, he's like, oh yeah, there's a bill there for oil. And we were like, we didn't order that. And he goes, ah, well, sure, just fucking sure you have it now. And, you know, <laughs> take it off the next one or whatever. And we're like, okay. He's <laughs> just like, it's insane. Like, I love that. I and the, uh, the, the old house we were in, like, the, 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 there was, like, a father and son delivering the oil. And uh, the, instead of pulling in the driveway, you know, the, the guy was a bit older. He probably couldn't fucking see that well. <laughs> he wasn't going to reverse this lorry into, like, a tight driveway. Yeah. The, son, the son would do it, but he just pulled up at the side of the road threw the fucking hose over the wall and got a ladder out and just got over the wall. And I was like, are you all right? No. And he goes, oh, why? I do it fucking every day. And the guy's about 75, 80, like, and gets over the thing and yanks it over and fucking... In fact, I love that guy because very rarely do you see, you know, like, an oil boy who's big and tight. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? He was yeah, he was yeah, about yeah. 78 and he was a fucking bear. And I was like, fair play. There's hope for us all. There was a, there was a plumber um, showed up here the other day. He was actually... he was. He thought he came to the wrong house. My my parents' house is only like fucking a kilometre back the road. Like he came to the wrong house. And you forget how big and strong country fellas who've been stayed in the country. Do you know what I mean? Fucking pause. I went to school. I didn't know. I, I didn't realise I went to school with this lad. He was a couple of years younger than me. But he walked around. And I mean, you talk about like, I don't give a fuck who'd run at this guy. We're maybe tipping 22 stone easy. And it was tight. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. He'd pause these fucking... Do you know those meaty paws if you turned them to the side? It's yeah. fucking... It's thick. It's like a tomahawk steak. You go, yeah. oh, Jesus Christ. Like, and he was looking at our, our oil burner thing and you'd need a wrench. He went, oh, yeah, cheers. Am I, do you want me to come back one of the days in service? I went, that'd be great, yeah. And I think that you need... I know for a fact you need a fucking wrench to open. You need a spanner to open this thing. He put his big old meaty fingers on. They were like Mars bars, these fucking fingers. And he just put them onto it and just twisted it off. with, went, oh, yeah. You want to give and spat on it, give it a clean and put it back in. Is that like is that like that in the boiler, the long sort of nut thing? That yeah, yeah. It's like long, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He undid the air that with his, with his fucking hand. He just undid that with his hand. Like, oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I know, you do You do meet some of those guys where like the fucking, like, you know, like you shake someone's hand, there's, there's kind of like a grip going on like this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They just offer the hand out flaccid and you just kind of have to work around it. You know, it's like, <laughs> they just hold it out like fucking bum. And it's like, yeah, just like a bunch of bananas and you kind of just like, t- just touch it somewhere. <laughs> just wank the fingers off of it. Dang it. <laughs> oh, so how do you feel about Eddie's going to grow up at proper culture? Because you're... But as long, you- as, as long as he's one of the like shifty Waylon Dalen cultures yeah, yeah. and not like a line dancing fucking, <laughs> you know, like lorry driver. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like a, you know what I mean? Like a jiving fucking weirdo. As long as he's like, you know, you get a, you get a load of young lads around here, and they, you know, they they fucking leave school themselves at like fifteen, but they're making a fortune, like fucking, you know, yeah. selling sheep and fucking doing all sorts of weird shit and selling fucking, you know, stealing 
bales and selling them on, not like just wee dodgy lads. But they're but they've like fucking one hundred and fifty grand in the bank, you know. Yeah, just from yeah, wailing yeah. and dealing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I met a guy up at the the petrol station, and he was he, he I went to school with him. And I knew he did well. He fucked off at about seventeen. He went ah enough of this shit, and his parents were like, ah, you're dead fucking right. You know, there was no. Yeah. There was no, oh my God, you have to, it was like, oh, you're dead fucking right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember we came, I was home one weekend, and maybe 20, I was probably 20 out of college. And this lad was just, you know, brand new Land Cruiser. Like, you're, tw- you're like, he was a little younger than me last year, 19. He was like, they're buying his first fucking house. And I met him yeah. recently. Now he has about nine children. I don't know. That was the other thing. He was kind of looking at me enviously, like we were talking. He goes, yeah, but you, you've done a lot of cool shit. And I was like, yeah, yeah, but... You're a millionaire now. You know what I mean? You're, you're literally, you're actually a millionaire. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah, but I didn't do it in cool. I said, like, I could fucking, you could start and you've got a good jumping off point. I genuinely think being a millionaire these days probably is only going to be sweet if it's just like you're a single dude. Oh, <laughs> like yeah. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah, the, yeah. That's the only way it's good crack is if you're just like, yeah. I don't have any fucking thing, anything tying me down. No houses, no families, no kids. And I have a million pounds or euro, whatever is worth more right now. <laughs> yeah, because regardless, like, I mean, could you bring yourself to hiring a nanny? You know what I mean? You know, if you're super wealthy, like, I mean, are you going to, are you going to do that? Like, no, it's... it's I don't I, think so. I think the first thing I would do if it was going that way is just get like a PA who would just do things for me. That's what I, that's, that's what I would get. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've thought about that, a PA, all right. What 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 criteria does a PA need for you? Just fat ass and big titty. <laughs> <laughs> I, for a minute, or I mean for a split second, I went, well, he's going to say, you know, a certain degree, maybe an interest in this, maybe really go get her and my fat ass and big titties. <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. No, just, I mean, a PA would literally be like, you know, like a fucking receptionist that and a slash runner, you know what I mean? Yeah. But you pay them well so that you they don't you don't feel bad going like, yeah, I was supposed to pick this fucking thing up. Can you just drive somewhere for like an hour and pick this up and come back? You know, things like that. That's that's where I would put my money. It wouldn't be like look after the kids. It would be more like, can you just do some shit for me so that I don't have to <laughs> go do it, please? I I knew I worked I worked for a, a construction company before, and your man, he's I think he's. I don't know, it's the head of the fucking construction industry or something now, but he had a PA at the time. And it was like, you could have all, and it was a bit, it was during the boom, so it was all big swinging dick talk. You know, everybody, you had to have the bigger fucking swinging dick. And there was guys with helipads at the house. Like this guy, I remember he put in a fucking, like a three hole golf course at the back of his fucking house. But it, it was all, who could one up the next one? Like, and he had a PA and it was like literally walking in. You could see it in meetings. Like he'd walk in and other guys from other construction companies would be there. And he'd P- his PA would sit against the wall, you know, like up and just, and he'd turn and he'd say, Marcus, and he'd, he'd give Marcus a job to do. And he said, Marcus, keep an eye on that. He'd write nothing down. He just, it was, but it was literally like the guy had walked in with, you know, that you know that black guy with like the two foot cock and uh, the towel yeah. around his neck. Yeah, yeah. Literally, that's what everybody was like. Oh my god, he has a PA. That's so yeah. American. Oh yeah. my god! And I'm convinced he just had him just purely so he could walk into moments like that. Like, yeah. Meanwhile, the guy's just like a drama student. You know, yeah. you're, go- you're gonna pretend to be a PA today, and he's like, "I got it." And what's my motive? You know, one of those. What's my motivation for this? Oh yeah, that's that's what I would do. I would just have someone fucking do. I'd be like. Go go to the shop and get milk. Like it would be, it would come down to that sort of shit. I was like, I, just go on, do some sh- stupid shit, build this IKEA fucking bench. Cheers. He, <laughs> are you still off the drink? No, I haven't no. stopped fucking drinking. All right. Now, see, see Easter. Like my my whole life, I have never in any way celebrated Easter at all. It just it comes and goes. It's just like it. It's like a weekend where like some things are shut and it's fucking annoying. And then this year, because it's you know there's a fucking lockdown, you know the baby's running around dressed like a fucking rabbit. We're yeah, getting yeah. shit faced every single night. I think I drank for about fucking six nights on the trot there. Did you just just because everyone was off and stuff, and we were like we like we we're lucky because our bubble is like nine people. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. So yeah, 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 yeah. So you know, there's always somebody drinking, and everyone was off work and whatever. And most of them were working from home, but they just didn't have to, you know, log on in the morning. And everyone, we were just getting hammered. 
all like for, for like a week straight and like happy easter fucking easter eggs and they're getting did you did you witness any of that uh guinness serger bullshit yeah well i mean it was it was somebody sent it on to me the, the video that went around of that guy who looked like he was on the fucking run um somewhere on the border and he'd gotten a jewelry cleaner and he yeah. was doing cans of Guinness. I, I haven't, I haven't touched that was my, Guinness. That was my father-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, Jody easily could be that guy. Like, yeah. yeah. But he, uh, he, he sent it, I haven't touched Guinness. I refuse to fucking drink Guinness that isn't out of a tap. I haven't touched Guinness in over a year and a half, I'd say. No, well, yeah, over a year. Because I, did, why were you busting out the, the serger or the fucking jewellery cleaner? Yeah. <laughs> Does it work with regular cans? No. The serger cans are like f- totally flat. So there's no gas in them at all. And or are there maybe, I don't know what the, it's not as fizzy anyway, but by the way, this is total fucking bro science, but that ultrasonic thing just, just kind of vibrates it really quickly and it right. fizzes up and settles again. But, you can also do it with a fucking electric toothbrush. It's like, I don't know what, like, I'm sure if you just shook the fucking can and poured it, it would, be, you know, it would go all swirly and then settle eventually. But I don't know. I don't even like Guinness that much to to know whether it's better or worse. I'm just like, well, something's making my shit black tomorrow. I don't, I don't know. I don't care what form it comes in. You know what I mean? But it was a bit of crack. You know what I mean? It's just, it's something to do. Well, at least, yeah. I mean, the, the bubble that you're around, we don't have. We don't. I mean, the parents are up the road, all right. Like, and I think statistics are fairly low around here, but it's not. There isn't a a big. Um, I you know I've been I I finally got to meet neighbors the other day, and they had. Oh, this will tell you how weird life. I felt like a momentary fucking weird. Like I, there was actually a moment of shame came over me for Instagram. They had. I put up a picture of as I do of barbecue, and they're like a, across a field. <laughs> And one of I, the chap, he followed me on Instagram. I didn't realize he was following me on Instagram. And he went, hold on. Well, where is that chicken wing? Is that our house in the fucking background? He's f- so that's who oh fucking that's who's moved in. And but for some reason, I felt ashamed over. I was like, oh, Jesus, that's not not that's not normal to be fucking not not on his behalf, but on my behalf. I'm like, whoa, I feel exposed now. Yeah, that's. Because taking pictures of on Instagram, I still have that shame in me. Like, you know, I, yeah. got, I caught myself actually. I was, I was telling somebody the other day, it was just, you know yourself on the stories when you're just talking to camera going, fucking, what's the fucking cracky cunts? Fucking, this is, you know. But I went to walk out the back door of the house and just start talking. And by pure, like, total chance, there was a bloke on the other side of the ditch at the end of the garden just hunting a cow. And the shame that came over me because when I opened the door, he looked and saw me. And here I am with my phone out like a fucking, you know, an Asian fucking school child. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, for fuck's sake. And that's when I know there's, I'm not young enough to not have that, you know, that shame. But the the shame, I mean, like I whistled there for no reason. Uh, The shame has gone, it used to be like selfie wanker. Was a term yeah, yeah. if someone took a fucking selfie. Then it went from that to totally shameless fucking just filming yourself talking shit to like stand there and take a thousand photographs of me while I pull my fucking leggings into my asshole <laughs> at the correct <laughs> angle with a fucking ring light that I brought with me. And it goes, it's like, and if you ruined the shot, they'd be like, for fuck's sake, I'm trying to TikTok, you inconsiderate fucking bastard. <laughs> Neo-Nazi. Fuck. <laughs> like, it's gone right to that point. It's insane. Like, So I wouldn't worry about just fucking... T- also, you know, people... Pe- there's absolutely no shame in just pe- walking along with the hands free, just completely throwing your business out to everybody. Yeah, that still was... I remember walking to a gig in the first time I saw AirPods. Yeah. And there was a woman walking in uh, in front of me. Saw no phone. I didn't see headphones. And she's and she's speaking really loudly, as they tend to do in Dublin Four, you know. And as I said to Fiacra, 
they can all just jump up and fly away off a cr- because that is an absolute disgrace. I mean, how much are you supposed to pay for an after you know a leave insert party that's taking place in Ibiza? I mean, that's a bloody disgrace. <laughs> we did we did well with the south of France when we went to school, isn't that right? You know, and you're going, oh my fucking god, who's this person? And I just but for a good ten seconds, I'm going, oh, she's fucking lost it. She's oh, she yes. brought she's brought an argument from home now. And she's just walking down the street. This poor woman. She's going to go out into traffic and get hit by a car. And I've seen, I just, I, like I've I've seen just what I did there. I've seen people like trying to interject in a conversation, and it just looks like they're glitching in the matrix. Like they go, what is no? I fuck no. And they're trying to jump in, but they're just standing, like not doing anything. It just looks like they're they've lost their fucking mind in the middle of the street. It's hilarious, like. I know, and I, there, but again, like how fast people are, like I don't, I can, I can excuse the youth, like you know, if you're sixteen, yeah. if you're sixteen, absolute. And I remember that actually that one of the same nights, I think, I think I've about three and a half thousand people on fucking YouTube, not exactly a fucking influencer, right? For whatever oh, level, whatever. I don't know. There's there, they're there, and these t- that same day, I remember it was like this fucking culmination of fucking tech shame. These two kids were skateboarding right over near the, the International. And one of them went, it's your man, he's a YouTuber. And I went, oh, who's a fucking YouTuber? And I was the only one there. And your man just kind of gave me a thumbs up. And I went, I'm fucking not a YouTuber. I, I don't make videos at all for YouTube. It just so happens to me that stuff I put up ends up there also. Like, But it was this level of, how dare you? How dare you? God, as if I'm fucking Casey Neistat like fucking yeah. <laughs> I don't know but you're, you're just whatever they know you from you know what I mean that like That's... have you, do you still get Barry the Blender although Barry makes an, makes an appearance every so often doesn't he not anymore like not anymore people I just can't be arsed you know what I mean I just uh, it's it's you know what I'm like my fucking attention span is terrible so I'll do it for a certain amount of time if I don't want to do it, I'll just not do it anymore. And I'm not too afraid to just let it fucking go, you know? Yeah. yeah. I don't. I just don't care. And also, like, you do hit a certain age where, like, I'm just not going to put on a costume on a fucking <laughs> Tuesday morning to pretend to be a character. Yeah, if only more people could uh, could grasp that. It's... Yeah. <laughs> There's a level of, oh, he's still doing it, is he? You know? But it's just... Well, uh, you didn't run Barry into the ground. You know what I mean? You didn't actually run him into the ground. Like, But the world of people have ran their characters into the ground. And it's like, oh. oh yeah, no, I never, I never did it live. I never did any of that shit. I just made the videos. and But, the, you know, the same style of, like, writing that I was doing for, like, Daily Blends and stuff. I write stand-up like that. And I write everything else the same way. You know, it's like, it's the same shit. It's just... But then also, podcasting sort of ruined it for me because... I have, you know, you know, it's like even with your wife, like she's around you all the time. Yeah. She's probably like, shut up, you fucking idiot. You know, not you, not you specifically, me as well, you know. Uh, yeah. But like, you know, I'd show a video to Maureen or something. What do you think of that? And she'd be like, oh, yes, yeah, good. But then just through doing the podcast and you're able to edit a clip together, if I'll, I, I'm able to show her things and she's like dying laughing. Yeah, which and then you're like you show other people and that you know so you're able to like ju- be yourself and pull extract things out that are so funny that people that are like that close to you are killing themselves. Yeah, and then yeah, you're like, yeah, 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 and you're like, I'm never gonna get that sort of level of funniness with something that I try and dream up like sitting there writing a character. It's not gonna happen. So that ruined it for me. I was just like, you know, there are clips here that are fucking hysterical. Yeah. yeah. That I'm, ne- I'm. There's no point in trying to write stuff like that. It's not going to happen. I, I don't think I've ever done a character or a sketch or anything where people are like f- fucking doubled over laughing at something I'm talking about. It's never happened. Because yeah. you see, I wonder, have you been approached? Well, yeah, I'd say you definitely have, but you mightn't have even seen it yet. What the fuck is happening with um, like raffles? Have you seen? Oh yeah. What's going on with people raffling shit? Going, I just buy a fucking five hundred euro token, and this fucking golf GTI could be yours. I'm like, what but the so, fuck but, is going on? But some of them are legit as are fuck. They? And pe- <clears throat> yeah. And, oh no, they're, the the ones that have been there from the start, like our kings and stuff. Which this sounds like an ad, but yeah, I, I've spoke to people who, like, I know a guy who was like, oh yeah, I don't know him. I was speaking to him briefly, 
And he's like, oh yeah, I want to fucking, you know, like escort Cosworth in a raffle. You know, so so like, and you, that's the thing. It's like, if you can back it up. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. You know, if, yeah, yeah. If like, if the ticket's 25 quid and you legit will win like a fucking, you know, like a one of those E190 fucking Mercedes all blacked out, you know, like, fuck it, 25 quid, who knows? And it's people funny. do, people do win, like. As soon as you said Carter, because we've turned into the ultimate dads. That's all my, for the for the people listening, that's all myself and Colin seem to text each other about at the moment is cars and station wagons and four by fours. <laughs> Still on the hunt for my Forester. Still can't find yeah. it. I, like nobody's getting rid of those fucking Foresters. The, and it's a fucking, I mean, what's, what, what sort of, what, what sort of hate are they packing? What, what's the fast one everyone wants? Is there like a oh, big engine V eight or something? No, no, well, it's not. It's not even that. No, it, well, I mean, it's, it's it's the technology has gone into it. It's there wouldn't be a V eight. They don't really work it on that sense. But it's more, yeah, air intakes and stuff. But you're, I was in one last summer and it had four hundred and twenty horsepower. That's a Ferrari three hundred and sixty ter- territory. Like, do you know what I mean? With almost no lag whatsoever with turbo lag because he had two turbos in the fucking thing. Like, so it was. You're talking about just. Have a, have a, have a. <laughs> like just fucking hold on to, like not to 60 and 3.8 like just hunker and did you know when the, especially in the station like, when they just go down at the back for a second you're like oh here we fucking go here we fucking, the fucking go the arse sits down in it a wee bit yeah oh there's something dirty about that isn't there it's like oh Jesus Christ yeah Jesus Christ yeah, yeah I mean the, do- I, the dog slides to the back of the car like <laughs> <laughs> I know what? that fucking that Mercedes I have is a is a death trap too. Like it's ridiculous. It's I, fucking I, yeah. When you got that one for the first, oh the oh the fucking monster. Oh yeah, the C the CLK fifty five. Oh, such it's a just, sound! You should make that it, sound the opening credits of fucking General Banter podcast. Just have yeah. that ticking over inside, cold inside in the shade. Like my, you know, the in laws down there will be like, well, we know when you're coming home five minutes before you get home. <laughs> like you just you hear it like and it does that sort of like and then it takes a big breath and oh. then it's like Rrr! and it just fucking screams out the back but it's a nightmare like the, the first sort of like a week after i had it you just you're just like you know it, you just do not get sick of that initial rip like if you're merging onto the motorway and yeah. you just cruise around at about 30 and just go oh okay indicate a wee bit and just, like, but i fucking I fucking put the foot down and it it just broke the tire off. It just ripped the fucking tire. And I didn't know. I thought I hit a stone or something. It just went gunk. And I was like, what the fuck was that? And then on down the road, it just fucking blew out. Like, poof, and just had to pull over. It's a fucking nightmare. But literally just that, that one stomp of the gas, like, and it just, it just twisted it off nearly. Yeah, but there's fella like there's fellas listening to this now going, Oh jeez. Like that literally getting erections at the just idea of a car so powerful it can eat off its own tire. Like that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guaranteed there's lads going, Oh fucking hell, is there any video of that? Have you yeah. any video of that, Colin? Because that now would do me fine. That would do <laughs> And then the funny thing is, we bought that Jeep today. And it's a big V8, and the the girl on the insurance is like, "Oh yeah, people don't even fucking insure that class of car. Like a lot, a lot of places don't even insure it." And I'm like, "Well, people own them, so what the fuck's going on here?" Like, so I may well have bought a Jeep that I may <laughs> is not insurable. <laughs> just put it on a trailer and drag it behind something else and just sit in the fucking thing. Here it's a pandemic. I'll just drive it anyway. Who now, if you're naked of fucking woods, I guarantee you, you would not be the only man on your road to not have insurance. Oh yeah, like the fucking. <laughs> Ch- children driving tractors around here. <laughs> yeah, that's a. I remember. T- t- oh, I, I have to tell you, you'll fucking piss yourself at this. Oh please! There, there's like a wee windy road behind us, goes around to the shop, countryside, and a uh, very narrow little lane. And I, I was driving around there, and as I was coming around, there's a van, and then a big fucking tractor, big trailer on it, covered in like bales. And uh, the guy, I slowed down. The guy's out the window like this. Yeah, and he he got up to me, and I, I was like, "Am I going back, Emma?" And he goes, "I just take it back to the corner there." He goes, "My nephew's driving that tractor, and he's a fucking spastic." <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, "You may give him plenty of room. Just go back down to the corner there. He's a fucking spastic. Go ahead." Oh, 
And I'm like, no, no bother at all. And then literally I reversed down to the corner and then just, you know, like this fucking child That's driving this fucking giant tractor around the corner. Oh, uh, what and a I fucking died. description of the young fella. Like. Yeah. <laughs> but the guy, the guy didn't even, you know, like look me in the eye because he was so, fu- he was looking in the mirror at the fucking, the nephew. He was so concerned. He goes, uh, head on back. He's like, the nephew's driving. He's a fucking spastic. As if to be like, <laughs> get up. Get out of the way now! <laughs> we have taken the training wheels off. Like that's the thing; these young lads are learning to drive monster trucks. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. They're learning to drive fucking monster trucks, and tractors ain't getting any smaller. They're all monstrous fucking things around yeah. here as well. Yeah, it's like all oh, right. I'm just gonna like there was a, like there, there was it had to be doing like forty five miles an hour. You know, I was behind the tractors the other day and it, driving into the local village. And when I saw it pull in, the kid, like, your man can't be more than 15. Can't oh, be yeah. more than 15. And he's driving this fucking absolute monster truck. Like, if he mounts anything, gone. Gone. He's just ripping through the village going, Lah. and you know he's got tunes on. You know, he's probably Snapchatting or whatever the kid's TikToking. TikTok yeah. is probably big for tractors nowadays. I don't know, but. Oh, yeah, totally. The, those those lads are fucking. Yeah, grass men. Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> and they see the level of content on TikTok. It's shite it used to be like you know you couldn't get on tv and somebody would look down on you like oh this guy's just a youtuber but you're essentially making like tv shows for youtube yeah yeah right and then that's good con- people were coming up with good concepts good formulas for shows you know unique types of content to watch i you'll see things on tiktok where it's like you know well lads i'm a farmer and here's what i here's what i eat in a day and then the guy just puts a little montage together of what he eats during the day and you're like, what is the this, fuck is wrong with people? What is this? I knew there was a good reason why I wasn't on fucking TikTok. But that's same, same thing, Colin. Why the fella from Bray is making 50 grand a fucking month? Same way why some lad on fucking TikTok is going, hey, this is what I eat all day. Yeah. TikTok Nobody is, should be looking at that. TikTok is those. the most fucking internet of all apps. It's like... The reason why people go, you know, like, I'm going off the internet, I'm taking a fucking cleanse, I don't bother with that shit. TikTok is all the worst things of the internet. Okay, right. Just right there. It's like, just content about absolutely nothing, you know, fucking, just complete jailbait wee girls, like, dancing with fucking their tits out, and you're like, why am I, why am I, why am I being shown this? You know what I mean? That was, I I downloaded it, I was getting, I, I got I say advise people were you know I say do you I gotta get onto TikTok you gotta and I went I was on it for two two days I wasn't fully sure what I was fucking doing but I went through a, f- a couple of fucking stories or reels whatever to call and I was like oh Jesus oh oh for the love of fuck you're twelve you're twelve ah you you're possibly in around that t- no gone delete that thanks very much good night God bless thanks for the use of the hall I'm yeah. not I can't but no, the, the, fuck. the variety of like debauchery it's like. Oh, here's a fucking underage girl dancing all over the place, very provocatively. The next one is like, here's some halal factory where they just knife pigs, and you're, and you're like, here's the next one. Like, it's just like, what is this? this? Is the fucking like, just the 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 gar the skip of fucking the internet? That's where what all, I thought it was. All the shit goes. I thought it, it, it turns out that you, what you just explained is exactly what I came across and went, yeah, I'm not doing, I'm not TikToking right, am I? Am I? This is not TikToking, is it? I, I, I didn't know what I was doing, so I just went, yeah. no more, thank you very much. I don't want to end up in fucking down that. I mean, to get, if you're going to get arrested for anything, don't get fucking arrested for that. Accidentally stumbling upon, fuck, oh, like, <laughs> no. It's anyway. just, and just like a lot of what looks like sort of mental illness. Uh, <laughs> You know what I mean? Like Yeah. Like a guy like a guy who's like you know, thirty five and he's doing like little cute cooking videos like this is what I have for dinner and then someone who's fourteen not quite understanding what's going on and be like, What the fuck's wrong with retard? Like that's there's a lot of that going on and then a guy comes back on and he's like, I actually have learning difficulties. Oh Jesus like, Christ <laughs> It's just fucking a cesspool, like it's dump. Yeah, I know, it's, there's, there's, yeah, fuck. I'm building a fucking cabin at the minute anyway, so that'll keep me busy. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, the, the weird thing about, um, you know, you see a lot of, like, successful YouTubers, and they start to 
collect momentum and you know they they get money and success and they end up like a Casey Neistat they end up doing yeah. ads for Samsung and fucking Nike and all this shit and it looks really impressive the lifestyle is great the people that are really successful on TikTok they look like they don't leave that room <laughs> fuck you know what I mean like they, there's a farm somewhere where they're just like you know we take attractive young lady you 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 dance you dance sign language to song and fucking you know maybe we feed you and that's it like that's it someone's like i'm getting attention for like doing this the the dance is a strong term but like they do these fucking like weird cheerlead moves and they get attention for it and then they just do it fucking a thousand times a day same ring same ring like like you'll see on people's pages there's like 30 videos and they haven't changed their clothes because that's all they've done Fuck. That's all they've done that day, and that's then some black mirror shit, man. That is. Oh yeah, and then at some point, like the t-shirt color changes to like red, and you keep scrolling, and they've had the red t-shirt on for like a day, and then it's <laughs> it's 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 too much. Like, it's fucking too much. Now saying that, I put a few videos up. They're getting decent views, but sure, you know what are you gonna do? Uh, you gotta put yeah, them somewhere. Yeah. But you didn't, you didn't go, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make the dream TikTok video. You made that for something else and went, well, oh, let's, the file is on my phone. Let's stick yeah. it in there. But that's what, I, it I put a couple of things on it and I didn't, I still left. It, there were just clips from other things. I went, yeah, but I'm still leaving because I can't, I can't fucking concentrate on this. I'll lose the phone. Like, because the, I, what you just described to me there is essentially the, like the internet is eating itself. Same as way television is eating itself. Like when you end up with goggle box where yeah. people were to watch people watching telly, you're like, and there's people out there creating unbelievable content. You're going, yeah. that's that's some kick in the fucking hole. Nah, you're grand. Thanks very much. I'll just I'm going to go out into the woods here, cut down a tree, and make a house out of it. Thank you very much. And I'm not going to video one bit of it. Keeping it all for me. Just keeping it inside my head. Thank you very much. It's fucking insane. It's fucking insane. Like, bring back the comedy. <laughs> oh lord, yeah, 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 yeah. But you lucky bastard, because we're you'll all be vaccinated and fucking. Back up and running by fucking summertime, won't you? My second vaccine is next, is on the 14th. Oh. But you're all, oh, do you qualify, oh, through to Maureen? Well, what actually happened was, <clears throat> I was supposed to like keep it quiet for a while, but it's it's all good now. Because you could then apply if you were like a carer. But yeah, yeah. she was due to get hers. And because of the treatment she was getting, they were like, we can't give you this just yet. And she yeah, was like, yeah. right, okay. And then she hung up the phone. And again, the joys of the rural medical practice, they rang back and they were like, this is going in the fucking bin. So do you want to send your husband in? Mwah. So Absolutely. I, fuck, I strolled down this, like, this corridor, just, you know, flanked by 90-year-old women, just stomped right through the middle. Get out of my fucking way, Denise. <laughs> and then it just, I, I just got it, you know, and that was it. Beautiful. No, no side effects. Uh, yeah. Because everyone's full of shit. You know what I mean? Everyone's like, I was tired after mine. You were going to be tired after whatever you were going to do that afternoon. That's what that is. Yeah. That's what that is. You're probably tired because you were worried it might kill you and it did fucking nothing. <laughs> and then you're like... The guy told he's God. like, you want to sit there? For, you want to sit there for 20 minutes? And I was like, no. For what? Oh, to make yeah. sure I don't die? I'm all right. Grand, I gotta go out and blow the fucking tires off my car outside. Thank yeah. you very much. Far more interesting than sitting with you wrinkly bastards. Yeah, I can be home in less than twenty minutes if you think I'm if, if anything's gonna happen. But yeah, I get the second one, so I'll just get it in and fucking get back to business. Yeah, because it was something came out there recently, fucking down here, where they're going to vaccinate uh sixty five year olds and older or in around sixty five and performers. I was like I get you, but what fucking use is vaccinating us? What the f- if you think about it, if you don't vaccinate every other cunt, because it's every other cunt is who we need to be actual fucking farmers. Other than that, we're TikTokers in a room. We yeah, just the, happen to have a vaccination. Yeah, the, the the performers can like come in the back door and sit in a room by themselves. <laughs> yeah. You know, and then perform. It's fucking, it's so bizarre. It's so bizarre. But I don't give a fuck. Just, I'll just take it crack on and what's the what's the because you your next SSC show is September isn't it yeah so I mean there's like the next step up here is they're going to allow outdoor 
drinking. Oh. So we've already got some things lined up as soon as the, we're given like the go ahead. I've got some venues lined up for like outdoor performance. Um, and then as soon as you're allowed distanced indoor performance, we've got another venue for that. And then, you know, we can ramp it up. But I just, that's my main concern is like, how much gigging am I going to get doing before this fucking SSE show? Do you know what? Regardless, the fact that it won't be on Zoom, I think I, if you just went up there and went, listen, I'm just going to read the fucking paper for the next hour if you all want to just sit down and tuck in. I think everybody yeah. would be going, Grant, this is fine. This is fine. Yeah. We're all happy to be out and seeing, seeing an actual bloke on an actual fucking... It'll be the first uh, gig anyone watches where the, the comedian has a clipboard. I'll just be like, fucking, boom, <laughs> next. What's that? <laughs> da -da -da -da. Yeah. What about that vaccine? Fuck me, you know. Do you know what you could do? You could be the first to introduce the Chinese method in... Uh, have you ever seen the, what they do in stand-up comedy in China? They actually have sound effects to let you know when you've landed a punchline. They actually have sound effects like... Bow, 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 bow. Our lights will actually flash. And everybody... Ha, 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 ha. Very good. Like, why not? Fuck it. Yeah. You know, what's his name? You know, Kevin Hart had flames firing up just for no reason at yeah. the back. You could have literally lights going, applaud now. You can applaud yeah. now. Because I know you don't know how to do this. Yeah. Like you're on a chat show or it just says applause. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not exactly. applause. Just laughter will do. You'll take laughter. <laughs> just to be fucking out and seeing people's faces. Here, will we uh, We hit the fucking road, will we? Why not? You need yeah. to lock up. You need to lock that pub up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm just going to... I'm going to... I'm gonna, we got a new set of clippers. I'm going to go absolute fucking Billy Bob on the sides. Skin tight on the sides. Nice. Really? That's a that's a TikTok. That, no, I'm not. I'm, no, and I'm not going to. I'm just going to send you a picture. Not even going to put it out there to the public. Just going to send you a picture, and I'm going to dye it fucking absolutely white. Fuck it. Yeah. Jesus Christ! I'm glad I'm bald. <laughs> <laughs> but to be honest with you, I mean, I, I I may shave it off at some stage. Just get a fucking notion and shave it off. What? Like everything's gone weird anyway, so it doesn't make a fucking difference. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> no, no one's gonna see it only in the virtual fucking pub we are here when uh, yeah when fucking things open back up I'm gonna lick y uh, your face when I see you uh, <laughs> and then I'm I'll, just gonna I'll... get a handful of that mullet <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, did you, you didn't pick up that broken tire by any chance did you because I know where I could fucking sell that there'll be lads all over that shit <laughs> selling, selling broken Mercedes tires on my uh, website after this guys so you know Yep. <laughs> Get out your wank coupons because <laughs> lads want to lie to say that they did it. <laughs> right, brother. You mind yes. yourself. Yes, you too. Are we leaving for good? Hmm. 